Let's talk about data encryption and Apple's advanced data protection. First, a very quick explainer on data encryption. Data encryption works by scrambling your data according to an algorithm that is unique to your data. It's important that your data is properly encrypted because it means that if somebody gets a hold of your data, they can't do anything with it unless they have the key. Most large cloud storage providers like Google and Amazon will encrypt most of your data in transit and at rest. That means that your data is scrambled when it's sent from your device, but unscrambled when it gets to the server, at which point it's then scrambled again. That also means that the cloud storage provider has access to the keys used to scramble your data when it's at rest, and they can still manipulate and give out your data. It also means that if the servers are hacked, the hacker could potentially still get access to the keys. Many cloud storage providers use this so that they can still perform operations on your data. Google Photos will temporarily unencrypt your images so that they can perform scanning on those images. They also need to have access to your data in case you lose access to the data so that they can recover it for you. With iCloud, far more of your data categories are end-to-end -end encrypted than the other companies. End-to-end -end encryption means that the data is scrambled when it leaves your device, and it's never unscrambled when it is received by the server. Only the device that sent it has the ability to unscramble the data. The company running the servers, in this case Apple, does not have access to your data at all, and any hacker who might get into the server can't get to it either. However, this also means that they can't do those operations on the data. And if you lose access to the data or your account, you need to give them the keys so that they can help you recover it. Apple gets around this by doing a lot of the things that other companies would do on the data, for example, that photo scanning, locally on your device rather than in the server. And this is also why services like Google Photos are not likely to offer end-to-end -end encryption without also sacrificing on features. Not all of the data in your iCloud is end-to-end -end encrypted. Certain data categories like message backups and iCloud backups are not end-to-end -end encrypted, rather they are encrypted in transit and at rest, much like the other cloud services. This is because those categories are more sensitive and losing access to all of that data could be catastrophic. With advanced data protection, you are telling Apple that you want more of that data end-to-end -end encrypted and that you will either assign a recovery contact or have a key ready to give to them when you want that information and you no longer have access to it. With advanced data protection on, every single bit of data that is stored in iCloud is end-to-end -end encrypted, with the only exception being calendar, mail, and your contacts. And the reason for that is that those rely on industry standards that don't allow for end-to-end -end encryption yet. I'd be willing to bet that Apple's working on that. This means that almost all of your data, from your iCloud backups to your photos to your voice memos, are entirely out of Apple's reach. Even if the government were to come and demand that data, they couldn't provide it without you giving them the keys. If you want to turn on advanced data protection, here's how. In your settings, tap on your profile and select iCloud. From there, scroll down until you find advanced data protection. 